Cute that one. Like that one. That's a, a good one. Bear. Okay, throw it in. Baby with children of summer, we're meant to be free. Honey, we're not like the other, no reason to be. Corbin and I were thinking about what were some of our absolute must-haves when we were pregnant with Juniper and definitely on that list was a really really good jogging stroller. Um, so I'm gonna go through our jogging stroller, the features that I love about it. It is a Bumble Ride stroller. Today's video is actually not sponsored by Bumble Ride but they did gift us their brand new edition of the Bumble Ride Speed and we love it. Having a good jogging trailer was super important to me, especially because I actually grew up with my mom. She was always a runner and she would take us on jogs when we were little. And um, I really wanted to do that with Juniper and I really want to do that with Tabor. So the Bumble Ride Speed is perfect for all kinds of trains. We have literally put our Bumble Ride to the test. We have taken it across deserts, we have taken it through sand, we have taken it to cities. It's just so versatile and that's one of the reasons why we love it. We also just love a lot of the features that make it really convenient for uh, Juniper. So there's little accessories you can buy like a snack pack, there's a parent pack that we use for like uh, water bottles when we're out on a jog. Um, we love the canopy. It's like it's a massive canopy, so that was like really, really helpful in the sun, like at the desert. And that's actually one of the features that is updated on the new version. So our green one is the old model. That's the model that we got before Juniper was born. The blue one is the new updated speed, and one of the new features is that there is more canopy room in there for your little one. The updated feature on the new speed that is really, really nice and convenient is that the folding mechanism is actually a squeeze button now. So it just makes it so easy to fold it up. One of the reasons why we chose this particular stroller to begin with was the wheel and the options in the front wheel. What's really cool about this stroller is there's three modes you can put the front wheel in. So there's the 360 motion if you're just like out and about in the city or in the neighborhood on a walk. Um, and then you can switch this little toggle and then that changes it to just a full on locked if you're gonna be like sprinting, like mostly straight. <laughs> it's a really good one for fast jogs um, on really like straight jogs. And then my favorite one that I use just because of the jogs we go on is I flip the wheel and then put the toggle and this actually does, it's only a 30 degree turn. So you have a lot of control with your stroller but you don't have to like totally lift it to go on any turns when you're out on a jog. Those are the features of the stroller that I really love. We have totally worn our old one out so we are excited to have a new one for Tabor. We're gonna be donating our old one to either friends or family or to someone in need. And um, we love Bumble Ride. So definitely go check them out. They have both the old and new versions down in the description below. They have them both in stock. And um, one of the key things about them is that they are really pro on sustainability. So that was another thing that we love about it. But moving on, this is a necessity for June, but there are still some things we really need for Tabor. So we're gonna go get those later today. Who's ready to go shopping? You ready for Target? Uh-huh. Let's go. Uh, yeah, so we're here at Target. We are gonna be just doing a haul, honestly. We are getting stuff for Tabor. Hopefully there's stuff that will be in season for him. Um, I'm sure there's at least gonna be pajamas and stuff yeah. like that. So getting stuff for Tabor, because honestly the number one thing we need for him is just clothes. We have some stuff from when June was a baby that is gender neutral that will work for him, but we still definitely need more clothes for him. Yeah. Um, I also need maternity clothes. I have a few dresses that I wear over and over and over again. Uh, but I definitely need some new things. I really need a, matern a maternity swimsuit. Yes, it's, for our trip. Yeah, we're going on a trip soon. This summer. And it's gonna be living in my swimsuit like the whole week, which squishy, is not. Squishy. Junie says she got a new Junie squishy. Junie got a new squishy. Show it. Stick it off. 
There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, living a week in my swimsuit when I'm going to be like in my third trimester is not super appealing to me. I'm not going to be feeling super be cute. <laughs> so I'm going to try and balance it out with some cute maternity swimsuits and cover ups and um, yeah, make the most of it. You'll be beautiful no matter what. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you will. You want to show your squishy, Junie? Whoa. So cute. That's a big one. That's it's like this. It's bigger than your head. Okay. This is my squishy. This is my camera. It's your camera? Yeah. Okay. You want to go in the store? Yeah, go for it. Okay, let's go shop for Tabor. Is that for Tabor? It's little sharkies. Did you pick that one? Oh, it looks good. That is a cool one. And is is a zipper or a button? Check. That's a big. Oh, it's a zipper. It's a zipper. That's good for those late night changings. <laughs> those are so cute. Which one do you like, Junie? Which one do you like? Which one do you like for Tabor? Pick one. This one. That one? You like that one? That's with a good little one. Bear. Okay, That's throw it in. Good choice. It is so freaking hot today. It is scorching hot today. Our house doesn't have AC yet we might be getting it next year but um we have window ac and it stays pretty cool our walls are pure. what hi juni <laughs> how are you doing are you saying hi hello hello <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so our walls are pure cement like thick cement so um stays pretty cool in here but it is getting hot so i figured juni you want to go get a treat what treat do you want? Shaved ice. Shaved ice? Yeah. That's a good idea. Are the squishies coming? No. Did you throw them and now you don't know where they are? Oh, they're under there? It went under Tabor's bed. Okay, come on, let's go. Cheers. Cheers! Cheers, Junie! Yummy! Junie got uh, Tiger's Blood. You got Mango Madness, which... Mango and Lime. Mango and Lime? Ooh, that's good. And I got Watermelon, Peach, Strawberry. Do you see all the fire trucks, bud? Hope everyone's okay. We were just sitting here eating our snow cones, and now there's like 11 fire trucks that just yeah. came. And I looked so on my... I looked on my app and it says there's a water rescue. So either someone's drowning or I don't know. That's crazy. That's not good. I know. Okay guys, we are back. I wanted to show you what we got at our little shopping haul for Tabor and I was gonna show you the things that I got for maternity as well. Um, but basically for Tabor, what we remember is I picked out a bunch of really cute outfits for June um, before we had her. And then the reality was when she was a little, little baby, she basically was in onesies and just comfy clothes the whole time. Um, and we did not need fancy outfits so it was fun occasionally for her to wear a cute little outfit if we were doing something special uh, but mostly she was just really comfy and cute and cozy and so little and you just want to put like comfy clothes on your little tiny baby so that they I don't know are cozy uh, so we just got a bunch of little sleepers for Tabor so when Tabor is born it will be getting a lot colder it'll be the end the fall and winter will be right around the corner so we got all footy sleepers and they are all really cute it's funny because we got like all the same color <laughs> of everything we got a uh, black gray neutral everything which is like basically the colors he already has from June gender neutral stuff it's just funny that it's like that's the wardrobe so far uh, but so 
this is what we got this one is so cute it has like little bears on it rabbits just little animals and then there's another one on the back and it's like a little puppy dog so cute we also i'm pretty sure we got all zipper onesies or sleepers which is like corbin said definitely necessary it makes it easy at the middle of the night instead of buttons um so we got let's see this was zero to three the ones i just showed you um this one is newborn size so little so there's little raccoon and then this one has like little foxes on it and then this the last one has little trees so stinking cute i can't believe he's gonna be so small and that's what he's gonna wear <laughs> so cute um i guess when i got another newborn set oh yeah here it is i thought so um this is one junie picked out the little shark little shark onesie it's just one by itself but still stinking cute that's the only thing that has real color on it mostly um and then finally i got well actually not finally there's a couple these kind of go together but this is actually three to six months and it has uh, another cute little bear and then just kind of like a neutral with stripe and the bear so I got those, and then I also got, because it is going to be winter, he's going to have to wear a hat a lot. So I got these little hats. Hopefully he'll let us wear them, or let us put them on him. Look at the little ears. Oh, little bear. And then I got this one comes with it, this neutral stripe one, gray and black. There's actually a lot of hats here. Wow, I didn't realize there was this many. Black, and then that little bear. So cute! I love it. I'm getting excited. I'm getting, well, I've always been excited, but I'm getting excited to like start putting things together for him because it's getting to kind, it feels like it's getting to the end of the second trimester. I still have, I still have like a little bit over a month, um, but the months go by so fast, or at least they have been. So I'm really, I want to try to get most of his stuff together. Probably. <laughs> I mean, that probably won't happen, but at least some of it together and uh, ready before I hit that third trimester before I get really uncomfortable. Uh, okay, but then I wanted to show you what I got for myself. I'm kind of rambling here, sorry. But here is one of the dresses I got. I basically got all dresses and then one pair of really comfy pants. So I got three maternity dresses and then one pair of comfy lounge pants that aren't maternity but that um, can go like under my belly, which is really nice. Uh, this one, it's just like navy. It has like this well, I forget what it's called, ruching or something. It's stretchy, um, and it's a long dress. I got all, well, one of them's a little bit mid, but all of them are mostly maxis. So this one, then this one I got was, it's shorter, a little bit shorter, like still kind of long, but shorter. And it's like a denim, denim-like material, but really light um, and flowy. I'm not flowy, this one is flowy. This one is just light. Um, and it's really cute because you can like cinch it up here over your bump. Um, so it, you can kind of change like how tight it is on your waist. Cute. Excited to be wearing more cute maternity dresses and take some cute photos. I feel like I've been slacking on that. Um, and then this one is a polka dot. And it has kind of like a, a prettier sleeve on the side. It's a little bit of a girlier girl dress and it's also a long maxi so yeah so i got those and then finally these are so soft on me i don't even know how i spotted them i was just like walking out of the maternity section and then i saw these and i was like oh my gosh <laughs> they look so soft and cozy and they're they've got like the jogger bottom which is i really like that i think it's comfier um yeah, I don't even know what is this material. Why is it so, so, so soft? It's rayon. It's mostly rayon. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm pretty sure that's what the soft material is. So, really cozy. Really excited. I could not find a swimsuit, which is such a bummer. You know, honestly, I have a pet peeve about the maternity sections. I feel like 
I had higher expectations for Target and their maternity section was literally like slim pickings. I actually feel like I lucked out because most of the dresses were not in my size at all. There were not that many options to choose from anyways and then those options like I said they didn't have all the sizes in stock. There was like maybe maybe five in total maternity swimsuits even in stock even though it's the middle of summer um so i was very disappointed in that but i was okay at least i got some some dresses but i am still going to be on the hunt for a maternity swimsuit if you have any suggestions please go to my instagram i'll have it linked down below um, and send me not a dm i rarely check my dms but like comment on one of my photos if you have any suggestions on maternity swims swimwear because i am looking for it um, anyways, that's it. That was really fun. I love doing baby hauls. And of course, maternity hauls are fun too because they're for me. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but thumbs up for this video, thumbs up for getting some stuff for Tabor. And I will see you guys in our next video. Be where you feet are.